I'm Jeff Hellinger, joined by 11 Alive political analyst Dr. Andre Gillespie of Emory. And the tension in the room tonight really came through the television. Natisha mentioned the handshake that wasn't, and then the moment at the end of Speaker Pelosi ripping up the speech, visible to all. Dr. Gillespie, this harsh division between our two political parties, very real. And certainly when you think about State of the Union speeches, they are procedural. This was anything but that. Um, yes. So constitutionally, the president is required to uh, deliver an address on the State of the Union um, to Congress. He doesn't have to deliver it in person, but that's certainly been the norm for a little more than 100 years now. Um, and uh, the tension was palpable, and it came through in both the president's behavior, in the reaction of Speaker Pelosi at the end, um, you know, in the reactions of uh, members of Congress, both for and against the president. So it was a really tense night. You know, I don't know if this is going to stand out as our best moment, sort of in America. In history. Well, certainly there was no surprise here. President Trump did not mention impeachment. Does it surprise you that he will leave that behind once he is acquitted tomorrow? Is it sort of poof, as though it never existed in his sort of political realm? Oh, no, he's not leaving it behind. And so I expect at the next rally that it's certainly going to come up, and it's going to be a campaign theme um, because it's going to be a, a site and a, a, of grievance for, for the president. The speech was positive for the most part. The president ticked off a laundry list of positives. Take a look. Our borders are secure, our families are flourishing, our values are renewed, our pride is restored. Mr. Gillespie, how, how do Democrats who are running to defeat the president, how do they counter what was heard tonight in the Americans uh, who are watching and listening? I mean, it's going to be tough. The president has the bully pulpit, and so that's one of the reasons why he has an incumbency advantage. Um, and also, just what the president did tonight was by listing his accomplishments, and then by having these moments where he's helping people. He was sending out a lot of red meat to his base, and so Democrats are going to have to respond to that. So they're either going to have to point out anything that was false or half true, and they're also going to have to point out that while these moments are transactional, and that's what President Trump wants you to take away from it, is the tone of Appropriate. And so, you know, they have a tall order ahead of them. So as we get ready toward the election cycle from the old movie with the famous line of buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Yeah, we knew that already, but that was definitely <laughs> true tonight. Dr. Gillespie, thank you. Guys, back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. You know